Hello, Beast Witches. Welcome back to my channel, Calicons. What was you today? Um, I am very, very fancy, and we are going to talk about some of my favorite um, makeup products lately. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start off with some skin care. Let's see, I recently picked up um, the Inky List Niacinamide because I needed some and it, it was only like 10 bucks and you get, let's see, uh, a whole ounce um, and it's pretty legit. Uh, it helps correct excess oil, but I also think it helps with like pores. Um, that's why I get it pretty sure it helps with pores if my memory serves me correctly so yeah I, I get it to help like reduce the size of my pores and kind of make them not show as much um and for the price you can't beat it I would like to compare it to the Ordinary's Niacinamide so I might pick that up and do a comparison um but I also picked up my first Drunk Elephant product and this is the Virgin Moolah Luxury Facial Oil. And this is incredible. It feels so luxurious on the skin. Um, like, you can tell. Like, it says that it um, is just pure Mahola oil. It has no fragrance or any additives in it. Uh, you get 0.5 ounce, and it was like 40 bucks, I think. Um, just feels so good on the skin it's very moisturizing let's see um it says it's like rehab for your skin it's kind of ironic it's rich in critical antioxidants and omegas in six and nine marula nourishes and balances while restoring a youthful glow and remains in its purest form so yeah i do find that it's really moisturizing um i put it on after my Hyaluronic acid and niacinamide and before my moisturizer and I just think it it really helps the moisturizer work even, even better and it just feels so good on the skin. I even put some on my hands because it feels so good and like it, it, it stays a while. It, it doesn't sink in immediately which I like. Like I feel like it works better if it sits on top and you get to feel it a little bit more before it sits in. Um, I've also been working my way through the Glow Recipe plum plump hyaluronic serum and i really like this too it's kind of a thicker consistency it's it's almost like a gel serum um <clears throat> excuse me but it feels really nice um uh you know hyaluronic acid you use it for um kind of like toning your skin and preparing it for other serums it, it helps other serums and moisturizers work better and it also um, retains more hydration when you use it. So I use it uh, before my moisturizer to really get my moisturizer to work really well. Um, and I like it a lot. Another thing that I picked up, this is by Sarah Hop. It's the Sweet Clay Lip Mask. Here's what it looks like. It is like a clay and you put it all over your lips and it looks like you have pink bubblegum frosted lipstick. It looks awful, but it makes your lips so plump and luscious. Like it doesn't make them big or anything. There's no um, spice in it to make, to make it big or, but it just makes your f f lips feel really plump and not chapped. I've been really dealing with chapped lips this winter and so I picked this up to help and it, it definitely has. I use it like every other night and I don't I don't have chapped lips anymore. Um, but when my lips are starting to feel dry, I use the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm Lip Treatment. I have mine in Watermelon Kiss. And let me show you the consistency of it. It's like a... I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like a thick, like, gel. Um, and you just spread it all over your lips, and oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like watermelon, Jolly Rancho. Um, I, I am, like, constantly applying it when I'm not wearing lipstick. Um, I think that's all the skincare I had to talk about. 
Let me mention one perfume really quick because I only have one perfume that I want to mention. This is Carolina Herrera Good Girl Supreme. And you guys, I don't really know how to explain perfume very well. Like I don't understand like how to identify the notes just because I do not have a good sense of smell. Not because of COVID, because of the drugs, okay? Um, but it's just, I love it so much. Like when I'm at work, we have a display of it and I'm constantly spritzing myself with it. I try to get myself to use olive oil fumes, but I keep going back to Good Girl Supreme. And the packaging is just everything. Like she has different kinds of Good Girl. Like there's a very Good Girl, which is like red. There's the original Good Girl, which is like blue. But this is, I'm so glad that my favorite scent comes in my favorite packaging with the black glitter and the gold stiletto. Um, they're all stilettos, but this one is black glitter and I love it. Um, my roommate didn't know it was a perfume until like two months into when we were living together and she was, and I was like, you want to try this perfume? And she's like, oh, that's a, that's a perfume? Like, yep. You, um, you click this back right here. And that's how you use it. I just, oh, got some in my mouth. Doesn't taste horrible though. That's surprising. Okay. <coughs> Let's move on to some makeup. So an eyeshadow primer that I have been using daily is the Juvia's Place Prep and Prime Eye Primer in shade one. It is incredible. Um, really makes my eyeshadow last of course. And it's just a really nice base. I put it on for brush and then blend it out a bit more with a sponge. And I did recently buy the Suva Beauty um, Prime and Paint in white, but like I've used this once because I keep coming back to Julia's place. Um, I just <laughs> really love it. I can't stop using it. I'm probably like halfway through the tube. You only need the smallest amount. I constantly put too much on. You only need like, here, let me show you how much you would need like that much for both eyes that's all it because it really does spread it's thick but it's not like gel thick it's just it's a nice consistency um another primal i've been loving is the jelly pop dew primal from elf i just love watermelon scented things you guys oh I just love watermelon some things, that's all I can say. But it is really tacky. Um, I like it maybe even more than my um, Long Wheel Primal from Hard Candy, which you know has been my HG for a couple years now. Um, just maybe because of the smell, or also because I can really feel the tackiness. The Hard Candy is a bit more silky. Um, you really feel the tackiness in this. It smells like watermelon. It makes your makeup really stick to your face. I like it a lot. Let's see. A concealer that I was surprised that I've been loving is the Estee Lauder Double Wheel. And mine is in shade 1C, light cool. Um, and it's just like very full coverage but it's still really creamy let's see you get how much do you get in this it doesn't say um it's probably like 0.7 i would say or so let's see the primal is doesn't tell me either 12 mil what's 12 mil uh, i'm trying to figure this out okay so this is 0.25 ounces so this is probably like i don't know what i'm doing um but it's yeah i'm wearing it today it's really good for um i don't have like makeup but heel because i've been blowing my nose a lot and yeah um do, 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 do. so it's really good for spot concealing which i don't do a lot but i had to do today right here and i think it was pretty effective it looks good under the eyes um i've been using also the real beauty concealer a lot but i find that i don't like the real beauty under my eyes as much it just doesn't give enough coverage so i usually first go in with the real beauty one and then over top put the double wheel concealer on and that works really well for me 
let's talk about some palettes. I just have two palettes that I've been using constantly. The first one is by Pink Crush Cosmetics. It's a brand I found on Etsy and it is a multi-chrome palette. And this only costs like $40, $45. But let me show you some of the shades. Like, isn't that just gorgeous? Hmm. Oh, my pinky is so dumb. But look at that. For like $40, you get 12 gorgeous multi Um, You cannot beat that twice. It's Pink Crush Cosmetics. Like, when I use makeup on my friends, they're always like, what is that palette? Pink Clush Cosmetics, check them out. They have another one that I plan on picking on picking up. Um, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, let's see, the other palette is by Shroud Cosmetics in collaboration with Fatty Bean, and it's it's freaking Bats palette. I use this all the damn time. Like five times a week, maybe. I've just been sticking with green and purple looks, I guess. that That's my new thing. Um, I'm not wearing it today. I, I tried to change it up because I was off work today and just felt like being a bit more creative. But this is like my go-to staple palette. How weird is that? Cause, I guess because like I'm obviously like a colorful person. Even though I like to dress in a lot of black, I like my makeup to be really bright and colorful. And this is like grungy colorful. I just love it. And like the shimmers and mattes are wonderful. Like see how pigmented that is? And this is day like wow. Like it's just incredible. It's really good formula. Um, I think they're planning a restock soon. I think they're gonna keep restocking until demand is out. Honestly. I think that's what I hold. Don't quote me, but that's what I hold. Um, let's talk about a blush. This is Bliss by Whale Beauty. And I bought the little three pack sample pack and I just fell in love with Bliss. And then I lost the little bliss. Um, it's just like a nice kind of rosy neutral. Let me show you how small the little mini is. Oh, this one is in hope. So this is the full size and this is the mini. It's quite small. Uh, but you, and I maybe put like, so I will, you know, take the little stick out and I'll do like one, two, three, four, five like dots on my face and then blend it in with a flat a blush kind of like this, like a flat blush. Um, and that works really well. It's just it's so creamy and pigmented without being like ah, in your face pigment. Um, like if you were to use like these eyeshadows as blush, like that would be too pigmented, I think. But this is just the perfect amount and it stays it shows up under powder and it stays so it's cool um i just i've been exploring this but i think it's becoming a favorite this is the real beauty bronzer stick in full of life and i have a full video reviewing this as well as the setting powder um it is pretty dark and it is also kind of warm toned but it works for me like i'm wearing it today and i think it looks really n natural i mean as natural as you can with flowers all over your face but um it blends in really nice it's super pigmented but it blends really well it's like butter it's like butter creamy yeah um, okay, I promise. The last Real Beauty thing I have to talk about is this is the Precision Concealer Blush. And, like, check out the shape. Like, the shape is just so unique. I feel like, you know, like, they bent the metal in this diamond shape and then put the blush, the bristles in it. And it just works so well at getting, like, 
I smeared my um, eyeliner on this purple flower right here and I was able to just like fix it up with this brush um, which it would be harder to do with like a flat brush um yeah you fell sorry you fell hi don't fall again please you're gonna fall again aren't you hold on technical difficulties okay we are stable now possibly um but yeah i just really like this brush it's super good at getting in like little corners without like smudging an area that like, you don't want to touch you know what i mean uh yeah okay let's see um eyeshadow as blush i picked up this cover goal ex exhibitionist eyeshadow um i think the shade is vibin but it's not completely clear um because i really needed a purple blush and i was like that's a good size and it was like eight bucks at cvs this looks great like you need to build it up but that's kind of like how blush should work it shouldn't be like instant in your face pigment you should be able to build it up at least that's how i like my blush um so this is working really well for that let's see i think i just have some lipsticks to talk about these are the uh, Le Absolute Rouge uh, lipsticks by Lancome. This one is in the shade Rubez, I believe. Let's see. Who's that? And then this one is in the shade, oh gosh, Q du Rubis. Okay, so they're 473 and 274. And I love the packaging. So like this is the packaging, right? And then you press this in and it pops out. So cute. So I got a red and a nude and they're just so creamy. And they last pretty good on your lips for bullet lipstick, I would say. Um, you know, I used to always be in to liquid lipsticks especially matte like well almost all liquid lipsticks are matte but you know what i mean um but i've been digging these lipsticks um I, it feels really nice to just like you know be out and you know i i wear like a face shield at work so i can have a full face of makeup sometimes sometimes i wear a regular mask but it just feels nice to be like pop You know, it's just, it feels luxurious. Um, another Lancome lip product is the Juicy Tubes. People have been raving about these for years, but I didn't really understand the hype until we had a display at work um, of them, and I put a little bit on my finger and tried it. And I love it. I'm wearing it today, and you can't super tell. Um, but this is in the shade Caramel Gospel. But my favorite shade that I want to pick up is Hallucinogenic. It's like a bronze shimmer. This is more like a, I don't know. Let me see. See, when you swatch it, the color doesn't come out quite as much. Oh, no. Okay. I lied. You can see color there. Um, but the color isn't super prominent on the lips. It's more like the glitter and the shine. But what I love about these is that it's a lip gloss that actually lasts it stays on your lips like i've been filming for probably half hour and you can still tell that i have a lip gloss on like that's pretty impressive for lip gloss i would say um let's see do i have any other lipsticks i've been loving i think that's basically it um the last thing i have is the urban decay all nidal um makeup setting spray and i finally picked this up after hearing people wave and wave about it and damn they were right it works so i recently learned the difference between setting spray and fixing spray setting spray is like mac fix plus um and that kind of melts all the layers of your makeup together and it does not have alcohol in it now setting spray like all night all and the huda beauty setting spray they um 
they have alcohol in it to lock the product onto your face so yeah um like i and the walls are used interchangeably like setting fixing setting fixing you just have to check the ingredients and if it has alcohol in it that's to make your makeup last longer whereas non-alcohol is for melding the layers of the makeup together um but yeah that's all i have for you guys thanks for checking out my video subscribe if you feel like it i mean or put a smile on my face but it's up to you uh leave a comment letting me know what you've been loving lately like what's your favorite concealer you're using all the time what are you putting on your lips do you have a skincare routine that you've gotten into lately just let me know talk to me in the comments and don't forget to stay weird